case you couldn't tell, this is a rather impromptu video because the lighting in here sucks and I'm too lazy to set up my nice lights. I'm not prepared and that's a pretty good reason because this wasn't planned. And by the time you're watching this, it's probably about two months down the line from when I'm standing here recording this because that's what happens incubating eggs. It takes two months. So if you haven't figured out why we're here, it's because today I did my normal morning checks on my maternal incubation project that I have going on where I'm checking the temperatures every day, monitoring highs and lows in the egg box, in the enclosure, humidity, all of the above, right? Checking all that good stuff. And just been waiting, 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 waiting. Started to get past 20 days knowing that I need to start paying attention, right? So, got that in the back of my mind. Every morning, checking. Well, this morning, there was a big spike in temperatures. And in the probe location, in the egg box, is about 5 degrees warmer than it's been this entire time. So, that was the first red flag. The second one was that everything looked a little different. Like, there was more moss pushed out. Things like that and uh, decided to take a peek and well sure enough we have the second clutch of eggs this season first clutch of jungle carpet pythons on of the year on the ground and uh, now I've got a thermostat clicking at me that's super awesome anyway um, so that that temperature spike was the first dead giveaway and I was right so we have eggs I will superimpose some photos here for you now so this is a psychotic exotics produced jungle carpet python of mine that I've had since she was uh, about a yearling and raised her up from a little hellion to a sweet maternal mother that she is today and this will be her second clutch of babies she was bred to a striped Van Deventer ivory cross jungle male. And by cross, I mean the two lines are cross. It is a jungle, nothing else. So this is a strictly jungle clutch with the idea of making high colored striped animals with the influence of that Van Deventer line. Hopefully some of that ivory can stay there, but she's pretty uh, bright as it is. So either way, we're going to get some killer jungles this year. Again, I'm really stoked and hopefully gonna be able to hold back some nice stripes so I'm gonna cut this little clip right here and next time you see me we'll either be just doing a, an update if things change or we'll be looking at little babies popping out so 60 days from now here we go alright guys here we are the moment that I've been waiting for I don't know if y'all have been waiting as much as I have but 59 days later and we're starting to see some some life from these eggs yesterday was day 58 and I caught the first little baby a pip so I'm hoping there's some more out today so I'll uh, include some photos here try and get some video without upsetting mom too much but we've got maternal incubation success starting now Thank you. 
eggs because they're hatching and I'm getting ready to go to work. And the cage is probably not entirely baby proof and I don't want to encounter babies coming all over the place. So the job is done. She can rest. She's looking for her clutch, but I'll get her cleaned up and she'll go back to normal soon, get her on food in a week or so. For now, I've got the babies in a tub. They won't be able to get out of it if they do decide to come out while I'm at work, but hopefully uh, everything will go well and they'll come out soon and I can give you some, some updates on those down the road, but that's maternal incubation for you right there. It's all hands off, a lot of mental uh, mind games and stressing out, but if your female's good and everything, you know, is prepared well, it's the easiest incubation you'll ever experience, so... Here's to some striped jungles. Catch you guys later. Thanks for tuning in.